In this video, I wanted to introduce our new title, Improving Integrated Pest Management in Horticulture, which is edited by Professor Rosemary Collier of Warwick University in the UK. Part one looks at using biological agents in integrated pest management, looking for example at advances in biopesticides, bioprotectants, biostimulants and spray application technologies. Part two looks at using decision support systems in IPM, for example advances in disease insects and disease monitoring, use of proximal sensors in, to detect crop health and advances in decision support systems. Part three looks at improving IPM technology techniques and implementation, such areas as agronomic practices in IPM programs, advances in conservation biological control, assessing the economics of IPM and encouraging take-up in horticultural crop production. Part four, finally, includes some really valuable case studies on the practical application of IPM in greenhouse and protected cultivation, including the experience of IPM in protected tomato and outdoor brassica production, and IPM techniques to control cabbage root fly in vegetables. To illustrate what the book's like, I've picked out a couple of chapters of examples, as examples. Uh, from part one, I picked out chapter four, which is on improving spray application systems to optimize biopesticide use in horticulture, which is written by Claire Butler Ellis of Silzo Spray Applications in the UK. Uh, spray technologies in IPM are particularly challenging because of the need to make direct contact between biopesticides and pests to ensure their efficacy. This chapter reviews developments in nozzle and other technologies to ensure application of the right dose in the right place at the right time, as well as control droplet size and coverage for precise targeting and impact. It also discusses adjuvants such as surfactants. The second chapter I wanted to pick out is from part four, and that's chapter 13 on practical applications of IPM in horticultural cultivation, the cases of protected tomato and outdoor brassica public, uh, production by Richard Binks of Fresh Tech in the UK. The chapter discusses two case studies of implementing IPM in practice. In the case of protected tomato cultivation, it reviews, reviews physical, cultural, chemical, and particularly biological control to manage pests such as plant feeding mites and aphids and leaf miners. In the case of outdoor brassica production, it discusses the use of IPM technologies to control pests such as aphids, cabbage, root fly, and lepidopterian pests. Well, I'll conclude, if I may, by quoting Emeritus Professor Nick Birch, formerly of James Hutton Institute in the UK. And he's been kind enough to say, this book is both timely and important for the continued development, improvement and uptake of IPM for horticultural crops. The book provides not only the latest research, but practical solutions for key vegetable pests via relevant case studies. I recommend this book to students and practitioners of IPM in horticulture with its distinguished editor, expert authors, and wealth of coverage of integrated pest management horticulture, we expect this book to simply fly off the shelves.